modern sugar beet varieties are characterized by high yield and at the same time resistance to disease. Conversely, cultivation of disease-prone varieties can result in substantial yield losses. One disease that causes minimal damage to foliage but can severely damage the taproot and the lateral roots is rhizomania. It is caused by a virus. Patches of lighter foliage are often a sign of potential rhizomania infection. However, yellowing of the foliage alone is not conclusive for diagnosis. Occasionally, though, individual leaves are seen with veins that are yellowed and partly necrotic. This venal yellowing is characteristic of rhizomania. The virus that causes rhizomania was named for this symptom. It's a rod-shaped virus with particles of different lengths. However, beet necrotic yellow vein virus causes most damage not to the leaves, but to the underground parts of the plant. It's here in the roots that the virus is most highly concentrated. Virus infection gives rise to massive proliferation of new secondary roots. A dense, dark mass of rootlets develops, giving the taproot a bearded appearance. The taproot itself, however, remains small. Storage of sugar is substantially reduced. A look at a secondary root with its many fine root hairs. In the living cells of the root tissue, here an epidermal cell of the root surface, the virus particles multiply. The infection spreads. Before long, virus particles are also being formed in neighboring cells. Independently of the virus infection, root cells often are also colonized by monocellular endoparasites. This is a plasmodium of polymyxobati, a protozoan. This lower fungus absorbs nutrients from the host cell through its cell membrane. It becomes steadily larger. Along with the cell sap, numerous virus particles enter the parasite, though without impairing its continued development. After some time, the plasmodium matures. Several thick-walled resting spores develop from it. They're grouped in clusters called cystosauri. In the thick-walled resting spores, the virus is well protected. 